Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome my friends to another episode covering the brand new Ice Wizard inside a COC. So the troop itself has officially been out now for one day and two hours, so we've got five days and 22 hours remaining, and since its release yesterday, there have been millions of people who have been trying to come up with a strategy that actually incorporates the Ice Wizard and is able to 3 star some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 and even Town Hall 9 bases. And one of the most popular, which has actually been surfing the web guys, is the, uh, the Ice Wizard Warp. So basically the combo is very simple guys, we've got 30 Ice Wizards, 8 maxed out healers, we've got 3 heroes, 2 rage spells, plus an additional one inside of the CC, a double jump spell, and a heal spell with a couple of wall breakers. We have actually dropped down over 1,500 trophies guys, we were about, we were about I think 5,500, now we're just under 4,000, so it's been a huge drop, but now we can actually find live attacks inside of the episode, Instead of all of them just being replayed, so check it out. We're gonna go in for a uh, we're gonna go in for a search to see what we can find. So just whilst we're searching for the first opponent, please let me know down below in that comment section what is the best attack strategy you have found to use for the Ice Wizard guys. Let me know down below. I'm gonna pick one random comment and try out your attack strategy. If it actually works, I will shout you out in the next episode. So let me know down below, guys, what one attack strategy. Should I use with the Ice Wizard? So we're going to see if we can find an easy base. Well, you know, a little bit easy. We'll be back in a second. Okay, here we go, guys. We've just landed on this Town Hall 10. And check it out. It's actually got two little uh, two little black holes inside of it, which could be great. Oh, no, it's got three, four. Okay, this, this could be interesting. You know what? Let's start this off, guys, by using an Ice Wizard Walk right here. And, uh, no, wait, where are we gonna start? Let's start off, let's start off here, guys. We're gonna start off... Where should we start? I'm kind of confused. Okay, let's start here. Oh, 10%. Literally only 10% left to record this episode. So, four wall breakers gonna go in there. And we're gonna start an ice wizard walk, guys. So, we're gonna... No! My poor healers. Okay, that's okay, guys. So, here we go. We're gonna send in 10. There we go. 10 ice wizards. Let's see what actually happens. Let's see if they're actually gonna do damage to this base, guys. So, here we go. Wow! How many healers are we losing? No, what is going on? Oh my, what is actually going on? You know what, let's just send in the rest of the Ice Wizards. We're going to try this again for a second time anyway, guys. So let's see what actually happens. Going to pop the Grand Warden's ability. There it goes, a jump spell. Let's see if we can get our troops to go into the core. So we're going to drop down a heal spell as well, guys. Another rage spell, a poison spell. This attack strategy, this, uh, this attack, sorry, hasn't really gone too great because... I'm pretty sure we've actually been wiped out so damn quickly. So we've got to pop the Queen's ability. This has been a complete fail. We lost 10 wizards instantly to giant big bombs. And we also lost two or three healers instantly. I mean, we, we literally spawned on the worst part of the base possible. So the Barbarian King has done some damage, but it's just not looking great. You know what? Let's just cut our losses, guys. Let's end that there. Minus 36 trophies. Let's try it again, except this time we're going to find a different base. So let me just rebuild the army, guys. So uh, please don't forget, there is a giveaway which actually ends tonight, guys. This is the final chance to enter the 1.2 million subscriber giveaway. Although we haven't hit 1.2 million subs, we are giving away $100 in about 7 hours' time. If you want the chance to win $100, all you need to do is drop a like on this episode right now and subscribe to the channel. You will be entered, guys. I will let you know who the winners are in seven hours time make sure you drop a sub guys only subs can enter so let's go ahead and rebuild some of this army so this time we're gonna use we're only gonna use one jump spell this time guys so check it out we got a heal spell two rage spells and we're gonna go with a free spell and another poison that is the entire army we got a couple of wall breakers now we just need to gem ourselves the heroes so as i said this attack strategy has been floating around the internet People have been saying it works, but that is at the lower Town Hall levels. Obviously, we're at Town Hall 11, and it's going to be a lot harder to take down some of these bases. But as I said earlier, please let me know down below in that comment section, what attack strategy do you want me to try next using the Ice Wizard? So, here we go. We're going to try this again. This time, we are going to, we're going to stay completely away from the Clan Castle, because obviously the Ice Wizards do not attack defending troops. So, we're going to go for... This is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to drop in the heroes first, and then we're actually going to drop in the um, the, uh, the ice wizard. So there we go. We got a, a nice little hole there. 
we're going to drop in the Barbarian King there and the Archer Queen there. Hopefully the Barb King's going to go straight into the center and take out that first air defense. That is the plan anyway. Please don't go around the outside. Okay, so he shouldn't. He should actually swim back into the center, guys. Check it out. Here we go. He's going to go back in. There we go. So now we're going to put the, uh, the, uh, the, the Barbarian King's ability. He's going to take out the air defense. Once it's down, that's great. We can actually move in with a, uh, a swarm of these ice wizards shortly. So check it out. The queen's going to go around the outside. We're going to drop down four healers on the queen. And then we're going to drop down loads of ice wizards. Let's drop 15 down the bottom. And then there go the four healers. So the queen's dead. You know what? We don't even care about the queen. This is all about the ice wizards. Let's see what these bad boys are all about. So we're going to pop the grand warden's ability. And we're going to drop down... Well, we've still got some remaining, guys, but here we go. Let's see what these Ice Wizards can actually do. Heal Spell's going to get dropped down. Jump Spell into the core. There goes another Rage Spell. There goes a Free Spell. My my, my Wizards actually got frozen by the, um, the Defending Freeze Trap, so it's not looking great so far, guys, but we are closing in on that core. There goes the final Rage Spell. Can we actually take down some of these defenses? Is this a great strategy? It doesn't really appear so. Wow. We got wiped out, literally just wiped out. So obviously we've been using Ice Wizards only, which probably isn't the smartest move, guys. So let's see if we can incorporate them with maybe a different kind of attack strategy and see what we can actually do with them. So we're still going to use an Ice Wizard walk. However, we're going to heavily reduce the amount of Ice Wizards and healers that we're actually going to bring inside of the strategy. So let's try it again, guys. Let's try it for a final time and see what actually happens. So this time, we're going to use... We're going to use 8. I think 8's a fair number. We're going to go with 4 healers. And then the rest of the army is going to be giants. So we're going to bring 16. We're going to bring some regular wizards. We're going to bring a P.E.K.K.A. And we're going to bring... What else should we bring, guys? You know what? Let's go for some random balloons. This is going to be a bit of a random attack strategy. And then uh, we're going to drop down two of the, uh, the giants there. And bring ourselves some wall breakers and a final archer. So if we go into the brewing of the spells, we still have a poison spell, so that's cool. We're going to bring ourselves a single jump spell, double rage, one freeze, and a heal. Actually, let's let's just take out the heal and bring a triple freeze, uh, triple rage spell, guys. So there we go. That's the entire army ready. We just need to gem ourselves the heroes. There's the queen, there's the barbarian king, and there is the grand warden. We've actually got 3.3 million gold, guys, and I'm going to just randomly do one of these walls because we have dropped very low in trophies, and I may even go lower, so I don't really want people to take my loot. So we're going to spend as much loot as we can, but here we go. Ready to get ourselves into another, uh, another one of these wizard walks. This time, it's going to be a completely different attack strategy, so let's see what we can find. Hopefully, we can find a possible Town Hall 10 Maybe Town Hall 11, but we're not going to be attacking anything of a max level. Now, remember, guys, these troops are only in the game for a limited time, meaning they're going to be taken away pretty shortly. So if you want to try these attack strategies, try them pretty quickly because they're not going to be here for long. So check this base out. Okay, so we've landed on this. It actually looks okay to try it, guys. Let's try this out and see what happens. So we're going to drop down the four healers there. Now, I'm hoping there's not going to be any big bombs or anything on the outside of the base, if there is. So here we go. The Ice Wizards have moved in, guys. We're going to drop down a Rage Spell because they actually don't have the greatest amount of hit points. And uh, it looks like they're going to... Yeah, they're just going to start the fade, guys. I mean, they're already dead. I mean, it really doesn't work. So whoever said that that, that actually works, it, it really doesn't. And there's no point trying it anymore. So we're going to try something maybe slightly different in a second. Let's just finish off this raid. I actually want to grab... Let's see if we can just grab the town hall inside of here, guys. We should still be able to two-star this base. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Here we go. There go the uh, the giants. There goes a little spread on the wizards. Pekka, king, queen, grand warden. There go the wall breakers, guys. Still got a double rage and, of course, a free spell less. There go the uh, there goes the grand warden's ability. Free spell is going to go down right on the inferno tower. Going to hold back with the second rage spell for now. It looks like the funneling didn't really go to plan, guys. We just missed the queen's ability. And you know what? I think it's time to call this episode an end because I think we've taken a bit of a beating and we haven't even picked up a single victory in the entire episode. You know what? Let's just drop poison down and hope that we can one-star the base. Oh, here we go. We've got a legendary archer, guys. A legendary archer. Ooh, king, king. Yeah, okay, guys. It really didn't go to plan, so let's end that there. In all honesty, the wizard walk doesn't really work, so this is going to be the final challenge. Here we go. Does the wizard walk work? 
this is the final thing to see whether it's it works at all. Check it out. Four healers down. And there go the eight ice wizards. Can we take out Sherbert Towers using eight ice wizards and four healers? Let's find out, guys. So here we go. They're going to take down the skull wall. They're moving into the base. It's looking okay. Now, remember, they're not really under any pressure right now. And they've just split up. It's it's already we've already lost half of the ice wizards. I mean they've just split up. They're not oh here we go. May have got a little bit lucky. They're all gonna join back together. And then they split up again. But we still got the healers on them all. They seem to be spreading out, guys. They, it's kind of like a bowler walk, except way worse. I mean, this is so much worse than a bowler walk, guys. So check it out. The ice wizard's gonna take down the mortar, the air defense. And um, yeah. I don't know what to really make of this, so uh, let me know down below in that comment section, what do you think, does it work? Clearly it doesn't, but we won't be trying this again guys, we've got 5 days and 20 something hours left with the Ice Wizards, and I promise you, we will not be trying this attack strategy again, because it just doesn't work, so we're going to win this episode here guys, stay tuned for another one coming in a couple of hours time, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel to enter into the giveaway, which will end tonight, New Year's Eve guys, at 12 o'clock will be the last giveaway of 2016. Have a great day. Peace out.